Today's topic is the difference between osteoarthritis and osteoporosis. Often confused to be related, or same medical conditions due to the similarity of their names, but are two completely different diseases. Although you can have them concurrently, at the same time, they have very little in common, like the severity increases with age. Both of these have environmental and genetic factors affecting the body. Osteoarthritis Osteoarthritis is the most common arthritis. In this condition, the cartilage that layers on a joint wears away and causes the pain. Hence, it is a degenerative disease characterized by pain, swelling, and inflammation along the joints and surrounding tissues. You cannot have arthritis of a bone. It's always got to be a joint, so there are chances that your knees, hips, shoulders, spine, and hands get affected by osteoarthritis, but your bones like humerus, tibia, or ulna cannot get affected by the same. Causes, mostly idiopathic, can happen due to a lot of reasons. Many a times there are unknown causes, but in some cases, you may know the cause. It can occur after a fracture. This condition is known as post-traumatic osteoarthritis. If there is an infection in your joint, that can also lead to osteoarthritis down the line. Hereditary conditions can also lead to arthritis. Osteoporosis Osteo, bone, porosis, porous. Osteoporosis is a disease in which the bone density becomes less and is prone to fracture. A bone is made of two parts. The outer one is bony and the inner one is spongy. The spongy inner part determines the bone mass. The measurement of your bone density represents your bone strength. If it is hollow inside, it tends to readily break, even with a minor impact. This type of fracture is termed a pathological fracture. Hence, osteoporosis is the weakness of bones. The occurrence is more common in women than men. When you have a minor trauma that under normal circumstances won't lead to any fracture, but the fracture still happened, then you may have osteoporosis. Your bone density is lower than the normal that led to the fracture, despite suffering just a minor blow. Causes Low calcium intake Thin or small frame Postmenopausal Estrogen levels are the culprits here. Less physical activity Smoking and alcohol intake Prolonged use of certain medications, like steroids, drugs used to treat seizures, etc. Does it hurt? In general, it doesn't, unlike osteoarthritis that is characterized by pain and swelling. But if you have a fracture, the chances of the person affected shrieking in pain are quite moderate. It is asymptomatic but has serious health implications. Treatment The treatment of osteoporosis is mainly inclined towards reducing the risk of fracture. However, the person affected with osteoarthritis is given anti-inflammatory, analgesics, and antibiotics, etc. to manage the pain and swelling. The same line of treatment goes for the pathological fracture due to osteoporosis to reduce pain and swelling around the affected area. In both the conditions, treatment can be medication-based, dietary supplement-based, example, vitamin D supplements, exercise, swimming, low-stress yoga, etc. However, people with osteoporosis are not advised strenuous exercises or it may result in injury. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.